always listen to what people say because the narcissistic behaviors will come out. My sister once said that she was angry that the cute babies at the Christmas uh, reunion or the Christmas, the family was together for Christmas. She was upset that the these kids were getting her attention. And she was really upset about it. It's like, yeah, she was serious. And uh, it's like my ex-wife. She once said, she said that she saw something online and she thought, wow, that is a problem. She said, she said that she saw this thing online and she realized that on Facebook and she said that when she read that, she's like, wow, that's true. And it said the problem is, is that instead of listening to people, we're too busy thinking about what we're going to say next. And she said, and that's so true because the people just learn to listen more, you know, and I was like, what? And, and I could not relate to that. I always thought, no. I always listen to what they have to say. I always listen to them. It's like, how do you know what to say if you're not listening to them? You're p too busy thinking what you're going to say next. I don't really know anyone who could relate to that. You know, that doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, listen to people. When you hear these narcissists, I got a comment on here talking about um, that I'm not a victim because of all the horrible things that she did to me because I was just in it for sex because it's always about sex. Well, narcissistic women, they look for power and supernatural stuff, and what they look to control men is sex. And if you're extremely narcissistic, like to the most extreme level, you won't understand relationships or feelings or any of the stuff. You only understand the physical. And the most physical thing that a narcissist thinks about or understands when it comes to a feeling of power is sex. So this woman was real when she responded to my com to, to my video about that, saying that, I was in it for sex, so I'm not a victim because I chose to stick around. And I'm like, okay, hanging around a very ugly, obese person that grosses you out for sex with them that's undesirable in a sexless marriage is certainly not beneficial towards sex. Well, that woman didn't comment after that because she cannot comprehend a mind out of the realm of just getting physical uh, self-gratification quickly. There's no empathy there. So watch things that people say. A lot of the time, you will find these one-line things as far as if someone says a single thing, one of these certain things that I, I look at, it's like that person is a narcissist. One thing that I look at that only narcissists say is, only a narcissist calls someone else a narcissist. It's like, boom. You're not going to find anyone rational who's going to claim that only a narcissist calls other people narcissists. Who is going to say that? Abuser. A narcissist will. They're like, only a narcissist would say, and then they'll say something that is related to a victim of narcissistic abuse. When you find someone who has no compassion and they are incapable of feeling empathy for victims, that person is a narcissist. For example, my ex-wife, and she's not the only one I've seen do this, would scour the internet to find victims of things in order to harass them and tell them why it's their fault and to cause them psychological harm and this got her like super extremely aroused so when i find it's always women because i think men target women and women target men as far as male narcissists target women female narcissists target men that's why men like me i only run into online and, and things like that only female narcissists because they target me now day to day in the workplace and everything i will run into a male narcissist sure and a male narcissist will always have contempt for women and will target women. You see what I mean? But um, 
if you just listen, if you just listen to the things that people say, sometimes you will get such a clear statement from someone that you think there's no way a, un, a, a person who's not extremely abusive towards others would say that. There's a man, I worked at a company called Pinkerton Oil, and there was a guy there, and he found out that one of the things I do is help law enforcement and everything to find people who abuse children. And he was infuriated. He looked at me and said, whatever a man chooses to do to his daughter is his own personal business, and it's no one's effing business what he does to her. And he was, and from that day on, he started trying to start fights with me, all sorts of stuff. Well, as soon as he said those words, right away, I knew he was an abuser that was psychopathic. And later on, his behavior supported that. But him saying that one thing made it extremely clear the type of person he was. As a matter of fact, he kept stealing my new headsets and uh, the company wouldn't do anything about it. They allowed him to harass me. Um, and then I got fired like immediately after that guy started a beef with me. Um, they said that the upper management was also very, he was pretty narcissistic and everyone said, dude, you got to stop working so well. Uh, so and so is very threatened of you and word is he's going to fire you because he's afraid you're going to take his job. I'm like, well, he's got nothing to worry about because I don't want to manage anything. I just want to be a truck driver. And I was told three days in a row, you know, it's like, he's super threatened by you. And sure enough, I was fired. And later on, I found out, you know, I looked into it. And I realized that's. That's a narcissistic person. A narcissistic person in the workplace, they're not going to be good at their job. What they do is they take out other people so they can secure that position. But if you look around, you'll see that there are narcissists absolutely everywhere. They have no remorse. They're extremely abusive. You find them everywhere in the workplace. And I'll tell you this. In the future, I have plans to start some businesses. And anyone who has any significant narcissistic behaviors as far as abusive behaviors, which is very easy to see in their resume. Their resumes are always absolutely amazing to the point where it doesn't make sense. It's like, yeah, I was managing an airport at the age of 21 once I got out of the Navy. I know a guy who really said that. And of course, it was a complete and total fabrication. It was a total lie because I managed him. And then he just stopped showing up for work and turned out he went AWOL for the military because 9-11 happened and he didn't want to have to go to war because he was a coward. Narcissists are everywhere. Learn to spot them by their behavior. All right? Learn to spot them by their behavior because we have had a spike in narcissistic uh personalities today, disorders today, due to the internet um, feeding into that. So people where there's like a chance they could become a narcissist with the internet, especially TikTok, they're absolutely 100% a narcissist, you know, because of this very unhealthy rewiring of the brain. There are people allowing 15-year-old kids and younger to have cell phones and be, have social media and not even monitor them and have absolutely absolutely no problem with that they don't view themselves as being neglective or abusive at all not at all that's the world we live in so yeah narcissist man it's uh it's really become something